award-winning Cinema Classics is produced by John DeSando and Johnny DiLoretto. Listen to the shows and read reviews online at wcbe.org. I'm John DeSando. I'm Johnny DiLoretto. This is Cinema Classics. It sure is. And, well, I don't know what inspired this conversation. It. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It. It. It inspired it. it. Yeah. Uh, uh, Stephen King's adaptation. Uh, the adaptation of St Stephen right. King's It. But a big hit lately. And not really gory. No, no. It's not too gory. I mean, the kid loses his arm in the beginning. That's it's probably it. the gorgeous thing. And then thing. it's all downhill from yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. No yeah. gore. <laughs> I want gore. <laughs> okay. So let's talk about our favorite gory scenes <laughs> yes. of all time. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm going to preface this by saying to our listenership, both of you listen, <laughs> that there's not a lot of horror on here, on mine anyway, on my list. Because, you know, I'm sure there are aficionados out there who know there's probably super crazy gory stuff out there. This is not that. <laughs> but I want... <laughs> I, so, first of all, you start with one of yours. One of your selections. Okay. Gory scenes. I had one that was an ancient one back from the 70s, and okay. I'll mention that a little bit later. But I discovered one that I like even better. Oh, It's even it. gorier. Give it to me. This is from a film that you and I have appreciated that nobody out there is going to know. Okay. Bone Tomahawk. Oh, man. <laughs> that is on my list, too. Oh, is it right? <laughs> yeah, it's on my list. These Cretan troglodytes, or wherever they are, <laughs> are out west. Yeah. And uh, they're roaming around. They're harassing people. They're just some right. kind of cave. And they together. capture this pioneer guy. <laughs> and he's hanging naked. Oh, God. Right? Oh, this is the worst. And he's strung up by his feet, naked. Yes. Trust. <laughs> yes. And they tomahawk him. <laughs> From the crotch down, from and they they sever him yeah, from stem to sternum. Man, John, that is so rough. That scene is so rough, and it's one of those things that you know it's like uh, it all the internal organs come out, all the blood, everything. Oh man, it is hard. Yeah, these people are really bad. Yeah, uh, that is a good one. That's both. I thought up. we were gonna build to that one, <laughs> um, and that stars. Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell, yeah. So, Bone Tomahawk, if anybody gets a chance to see it, uh, if you can see and you can, it has, it's a really different take it, on the horror film. Yeah, or a different take on the Western, whichever yeah, you want. Yeah, exactly, thank you. Yes, However you want to look at yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's a horror Western. <laughs> um, okay, I'm, let me give you one from my list. Yes. Um, in a similar vein. Okay. Uh, <laughs> George Romero, now I'm actually Oh, George Romero. Okay. George Romero. <laughs> Yeah, I used to love those George Romero zombie movies, um, and I loved Day of the Dead. Okay. Because of the color. Okay. And uh, that's the one where they're trapped in the mall, I believe. Okay. Uh, shot in Pittsburgh. Okay. And um, anyway, this guy gets torn in half by zombies. So they they you know they fall upon him and they just start. He's screaming and can you see it? And they're like tearing at his guts and whatever. They're pulling him. They're some are pulling at his legs, some are pulling at his arms, and then he just kind of tears in half. And he's awake. And then they just start devouring his his innards. Oh, you're good. You know? That's good. And it's so bright. Like, I remember it as a kid, the... You know, it's so fun. Like, there's something so unreal about it. It's, it is and is not scary at the same time. And it's so sort of delightfully over the top. But right. the yeah. color of it. I, I, I really, I really like your emphasis on that. It's the light, it's the color, it's the surreal nature of it, and at the same time, it's as scary as hell. Yeah. Right. However, that, uh, I'm going to offer one. Yeah. Not quite as gory as yours, or even my first one. All okay. right. But probably for a long time before Bone Tomahawk, my favorite, and partly because I went to school at Georgetown. All right. Oh. The Exorcist. Yeah, The Exorcist. So now that's very scary to me. It's probably it, it is still the scariest movie I've ever seen. But what is so gory about what? what well, where, it's not. Uh, I'm saying yours. The examples we have given, the first two, are much gorier than this. But I think this is one heck, in a in a in a different way, gory film. This okay. is when she abuses herself. Regan abuses herself oh, yes. with the cross. With the cross. Ugh. And it is hard to watch. <laughs> and then doesn't she take the blood and smear it on her mother? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. 
<laughs> I stand corrected. <laughs> And wow. maybe, That's maybe, a rough one, maybe yeah. less is more. You know what? <laughs> you could never do that today. That scene could not be made today. Uh, that's interesting. Yeah. That was brave filmmaking. Yeah. And it wasn't done in an egregious way. Uh, but man, is that a horrifying <laughs> thing. Okay, let's lighten it up a little. All right, go ahead. Uh, the Thing. Oh, yes, all right. John Carpenter's The Thing. The scene where they're um, performing... Um, I think they're performing a, an autopsy. Or no, they're not. I don't know if the guy's dead yet or not. Okay. I think they're trying to revive him with those little paddles. Okay. You know? Yep. And, <coughs> excuse me. They're trying to revive him with those paddles. And uh, the guy takes the paddles and he goes to put them on the chest. And it just crushes through his chest. And there's this horrible cracking sound. The chest opens up and then there are these teeth in it. And it slams down on the guy's hands. It cuts the guy's hands like off. It. He's blood is spurting everywhere. Then the thing's head starts to stretch, and the guy's neck drips down off like of the this. table. The legs sprout out of the head, and a uh, head runs off like a crab spider. <laughs> have you, you don't know what I'm talking about? What I mean, oh I my god! It's, I don't have your memory. It is sheer joy. <laughs> That is. scene is so and, joyful. And, and a very fine description from you, sir. Okay, I'm going to take one that I know you're immediately going to know what it is. Mm -hmm. It's from a classic film. Okay. And it stars our buddy Jack Nicholson. Okay, The Shining. The Shining, you're absolutely right. That's the only gore he really participated in, so and go ahead. this is when his character has a beautiful woman at that hotel. He's scoring. <laughs> of course this would be your from your nightmare. So he scores with this woman. Yeah. And and Holmes, and she transforms yeah. into some crazy crone. With moss growing on her. Like I remember that scene as a kid. I was like, oh she's got she's got moss on her. Like what is that? She's mossy. And <laughs> somebody described it as a uh, 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 a rotting, laughing nympho grandma. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So, so you yeah, wanted yeah. to lighten it up. That that, is, that, that oh, that's it. good. I don't know if it's gore. No, is that I gore? Don't. Well, I mean, after Wait, all, is gore just blood? She's, she's, that. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, she's she, she transforms. Okay. And she's rotting. Look, I got you. I'm with you. <laughs> all right, all right. Give us one more. Here's here's another one. Uh, well, let me give you a couple. All right. Uh, real quick. Yeah. Robocop. When they they kill the the Peter Weller at the beginning, you know, which turns him into Robocop. The the villainous gang just unloads on him all their ammunition. It's a torturous, hard to watch scene in a movie that's ultimately kind of satirical and in some places really funny. Mm -hmm. But there's this tragic through line to that movie that is really sad. And it starts with that scene, which is uh, truly hard to watch. The end of Taxi Driver. Oh, mayhem. Yeah. Wow. But it's beautifully orchestrated. It is. And again, that bright, that dark. Wonderful it's choice. bright and dark, the blood. I love when he shoots the guy's fingers off. <laughs> then he stabs the other guy in the hand. You know, and you can hear the sound effects. Scorsese's <laughs> never been better with violence. Well, I, had, I I think we're going to end right there. I can't outdo uh, that one. Uh, there's another one uh, if, in Trouble Every Day. This is Claire Denis. So this would be a kind of a foreign shocker. Yeah. And in which uh, the lady seduces the man, brings her, brings him into her lair. And uh, she's, her husband has been trying to keep her out because she seduces men and she eats them. Uh -huh. Okay. So she gets out, seduces a man, uh, bites his tongue out. This is a documentary? No. And, po and pokes her finger through his cheek. Eventually, uh, the eye, the entire room was filled with this guy's blood. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one was, my other, my final one was from yeah. Prometheus, the self-surgery machine in Prometheus. And I did have one from The Fly, where he, the insect creature dissolves the man's foot. But oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty half good. half as great as any of the ones that we have had so far. Yeah, well, that one's pretty good. Or when his ear falls off and he ke he keeps all the little mementos in his cabinet. <laughs> one more and then say it. Then I'm done. All right, that's You're it. You're going to love this The one. end of the show now. Anthony Hopkins lifting Ray Liotta's skull cap off. Oh, And, and then cannibal. serving a little slice of his own brain 
to him. It is both gory, tactile, and humiliating. And I love it. And such an appropriate, brainy ending for our show. Yeah. <laughs>